In the previous video, we have discussed in detail about what is encoding, encryption and hashing and observed hashing is a clear winner that we should follow for any password management in our application. So this is a sample representation on how Spring Security will behave if you try to use the hash. Like the very first action that performed by the user as soon as he entered his credentials and clicked login, you can convert that password 12345 by using a hashing algorithm either on the UI side or in the backend side based upon your requirement. So once that original password is hashed, it will be into some encrypted value which looks like this. Suppose that Spring Security will try to pull the details from the database by using the username of the user and retrieves the already hashed password of 12345. And here you can see the hash value that we generated based upon the value provided by user and the hash that we maintain in the database though they looks different but they are the hash values of the same text which is 12345. So in this scenario the hash value which is from the database and the hash that we calculated is equal. So if it is matches the login will success otherwise the login will fail. But you may ask how Spring Security will know what is the hashing mechanism that I have to use, what kind of hashings that Spring Security follows and where does this match will happen and where does this conversion of hashing will happen based upon the value received from the UI or from the postman. So for all such questions, password encoder is the answer. So like we discussing in the architecture of Spring Security, user details and password encoder are fully responsible for validating the credentials. So password encoder will tell Spring Security, okay, my password has been hashed or encrypted using this mechanism. You have to follow the same mechanism while matching the passwords and accordingly try to do the authentication. So let's try to look in detail about password encoder in the next video. If you have any questions, please post in Q&A section. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.